Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, Dyslexic Gamer. As we do what will probably be my last uh, episode on uh, the forest. Uh, the release will be out at the end of this month, somewhere around this month. And to be honest with you, I'm having to do a lot of work off screen at the moment to, uh, to save you from the boredom of watching me walk around the forest. Funnily enough, um, so as you can see, I built a base in uh, in the frozen lands. It's shit here. Um, I got attacked by about twelve massive naked men and a few naked women. I was not impressed. I did not want their attention. They would not leave me alone until I killed them. So we're not going to spend much time here. This is just a bolt hole, basically. But this also taught me that I can't carry on um, editing episodes um, especially where the release is coming out I may have to start again so yeah last one I'm afraid so let us make the most of it and head on down into the center I shall go where I have not gone yet before light our torch of sticky fiery goodness fire is a great thing to use against the enemies it works beautifully as in, literally, build a little fire. Build a little fire and run round it. Just like, keep feeding it fuel. And then <laughs> the enemy will run into it quite often. A surprising amount of time, actually. They will just run headlong into it. Now, I want to keep an eye out in case I come across that multi-legged freak. Just in case, I need to whip out the uh, the explosives. If I have any left, that is. Ooh. Eat these, because, well, we may... We may be out for a bit. Come on, eat them. There we go. What the fuck are you? Go away. I think that might be for multiplayer. I don't think that's necessarily... Well, at least I hope it's not. That's when I find out our kid's actually been calling for help. And I've just had the radio off. Oh, naked men. Naked men, and I have no armour. I have very little armour. Well, actually... I have more armour than I thought. Oh well. We are trying to go places that we have not been before, and I think we have been up there before. These crocodiles seem to be appearing as I walk past, which I'm not. Oh, it's it's medicinal herbs. Okay, I shall take medicinal herbs. I think we've been that way. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We are going to head further in. Is that the plane? No. No, I'm just seeing things. Oh well. We're going to be seeing a lot of naked men soon enough. Soon enough they will come for us. Swinging through the trees. With the manliest of manly bits showing. Um. Hmm. Although this is this is enjoyable, you know, strolling through the woods. Have I come back up? Hmm. Well, we. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. Oh yes. I made an incendiary spear. Um, apparently, if you if you attach a rag and a uh, and a um, alcohol bottle to your spear, it becomes an incendiary spear. So, looking forward to using that in a bit. And you know, it's not going to be that long until they find us again. So, I'm a bit confused as to why I've managed to make it to the 
the snowy peaks yet again. I could probably do with a compass. I think I've got a compass, but yeah. It's just another item to have in my hand when they eventually attack me. Yeah, no, it's coming. I was just hoping we could find something interesting. Okay. okay, let's follow the river. Ooh. Whoa! Run! Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Cry. Well. Oh, look, there's another one. Hello. Hello, naked neighbor. Hmm. That was an odd noise. There's a very odd noise going on, and I don't quite know what it is. Is it a bear? Oh, look. It's... It's a mutant. It, it's a couple of mutants. Well, wow, hot dickety damn. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! What the fucking hell? Right. We have the water as our advantage. Fire! We need to go higher. Fire! I have no... Whoa! There are crocodiles. Whoa! Holy shit! That one's coming after us. Ah! Okay. Ah. I see how the uh, developers were going to stop you from using the water as your... Uh, as your escape from the mutants. I see. But I want... I want to see what these mutants can do. Stupidly, I know. I know. It's not... Oh look, another hole in the ground. I mean, it's getting rather dark as well, which is kind of worrying. Oh, there's a camp. Is there anything in said camp? I don't think so. So let's go and fire some arrows at these ugly fuckers. Who said don't poke the bear? Pa! Where's the TNT? Oh, fuck me! Oh, that was not a good idea. Run, 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 run. To the water. To the sea. Oh, fuck. It's coming after me. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. If I don't make it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. It's in the water with me. It's in the water. Oh dear. Oh dear. Swim to the other side. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Has it left me alone? Or am I going to look down and it's going to be there? Hmm. All good questions. Am I going to freeze? Another good question. Wow. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what to say, really. Um. Hmm. This is a situation I didn't think I was going to find myself in. Huh. So I can't access my inventory. There's possibly a big ugly mutant underneath me. There are definitely crocodiles around me. There are definitely naked men around me. What the fuck was that? What the hell? 
That is a freaky ass fucking noise. I'm gonna move my mic away. Just in case like, I... I scream and wet myself. Well. This is interesting. <laughs> Well, that's that's one way to end our end our series, isn't it? We found some mutants. I should have blown them up. We will, we will attempt to blow them up again. In the morning, <laughs> if we can find them again, I'll have to remember the big fat one runs really fast. I should have probably. I didn't prepare well enough. I saw them and went, hmm, a challenge. Challenge accepted. Whereas what I should have done was look at them and gone, I need to prepare. Let's build a fire, for example. Hmm. This does leave me in an interesting situation, though. In the water with some weird mutant thing. With crocodiles, uh, well, I'm guessing they can eat me whilst I'm in here. Oh, the moon is out and it is providing enough light. I'm gonna hate myself for doing this. Because I don't want to end up underground for the last half of the episode. That doesn't interest me in the smallest bit. I really hope this thing isn't actually just underground waiting for me to get... It's not a tremor, you know. That'd be terrifying. Oh, I think it is. Where are you? Oh, why didn't I light it? You prick. You prick. Well, goodbye. Um, hmm. Uh oh. What? Oh crap. Oh no, that's it screaming in fire. Ah, uh, crocodile. Right, hang on. Break out the incendiary spear. I see you, you ugly bugger. I still have flares. I'm, I might be shit at shooting them, but I still have them, right. Dried and edible meat. Eat. <laughs> ah, it's coming for me again. Please don't tell me I need to light you. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. And... Stab! Ah! We have killed it. We are all that is man. You know, except from the screaming and the, the the shouting and the the crying. You know. You want some? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your tail. I've killed a mutant. I can handle you. Run. So what do I get? Come on, what do I get? Do, don't I get a prize? No. Yeah. 
Do I get to eat mutant meat and become stronger? <laughs> well, the other one disappeared. No, I didn't kill a crocodile. Oh, hang on. Yeah. I have killed a mutant. You are nothing. Whoa! Holy shit! You are far more than a mutant! Ooh. Okay, don't fuck with a crocodile. Eat. Hmm. Is that still an incendiary spear? I'm worried that it's not because it didn't like explodey. Didn't I set it set him on fire, I think. No, that's just a stone. Hmm. Like I am worried about going too far in because well, there's that other one to contend with. You know, I don't know how many more of these buggers there are. That might... Well, I know there's a few of them. And I don't know how long it takes for them to respawn. Because, like, the tribals, it doesn't seem to matter how many you kill. There's always another six or seven waiting around the corner. So I'm a bit worried that these are like that as well. And to be quite honest with you, I think that's a rather valid concern. These things are fucking scary. Okay, keep following these little rivers. I, th these little rivers do not stop them from getting to us. Oh, this one might. This one might. Seems like it would have the, the ability to... I can't believe that thing did not blow up. But, you know, I, I that blew up pretty bloody close to it. Like, I've seen naked men get disintegrated from, from being that close, and yet it didn't give a damn. No, t no shits were given, which is kind of terrifying. Hmm. Have we been this way before? I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, because we've never seen those mutant things before. I have no idea what's going on there. I've got stuck on something. Um, oh, we have been here before. Well, how fucking disappointing. Because we never saw those mutant things before. So. This is probably a really bad idea. Do I have a compass? I do. Well, that has not helped. Equip the compass. So, that's north. So, that way is west. So, we want to go west. Okay. Let's just equip... The stick of justice, we shall add the, uh, I don't know, the kindle of fucking light, who knows. And we'll head this way. We'll head uh, southwest. Let's see if we can find any other mutants or shenanigans that are worth our time. It would be nice. <laughs> Get straight up that hill and straight into a, uh, straight into a mutant. Like, oh, we're dead. Well, bye-bye, everyone. That's our episode done. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure we've seen... Yeah, because there's the... Uh, there's that thing. But then, So how far do you have to... Wow, you'd have to go... Okay, right, well, we're going a long way south. A long way. Well, southwest? Yeah, I guess it's southwest. It's not south by southwest, unfortunately. We will not see any Mounties on our journey. Sadly. 
I'm sure we could do with a husky at least. Um, do I have any of the energy potions? No. No. Bollocks. I really do have an energy herb. So yeah, energy herbs are actually really, really, really amazing. It gives you full energies for what whilst you run. That may have even been the ones that we no. No, that's the one that I have plenty of. Drink the last drink, even though it's scary out here. I'm gonna want energy for fighting, running, surviving. The other issue with running in the dark is that I can't really see anything, so yeah, even if there was something funny or interesting or scary. I wouldn't really know about it. You know, both a bonus and a negative. I'm not going to be able to see the thing that's going to kill me, but at the same point, you're not going to be able to see the thing that kills me. A deer! A deer is what is going to end me. Oh. Well, there are tribals out here, I guess. Oh no, it's not tribals, it's just water reflecting off of the light. Huh. I know I've been here before. It's actually a bit difficult trying to get into areas that you don't know after a while. Well, we filled in a little bit more, but not really enough. I wanted to get to that black circle, but I keep going in the wrong direction. I mean, it would probably help if I used a compass more over. I do realise, but... Eh. It'd also help if it was daylight. Um, but you see, so, yeah, if we were doing building or something else, I would have to, like... I have to edit a lot with these episodes and I don't really have the time to so uh, especially when all of my work might be for not because when it gets released well my game might get erased or you know they might have changed key features that changed the way the game works there might be other survivors you now instead of it I'll oh, piss off you can die if you want, but I'd recommend you just leave me alone. I wonder if you just go with running away and not attacking, if they will just leave you alone. I highly, highly doubt it. I know there is a challenge. You know, don't uh, kill... Don't kill any tribals for natives for ten days, but... Uh... I don't like the idea of being someone's, you know, toy. Being chased around for their amusement. It's not something that appeals to me. Is this a new a new tra a new town where we might get a new gun part? It doesn't look like it. It looks very much like the place that we've been before. Only with a few more, a few more tribal artifacts. Because of course, once we destroy it, they just put it back up. It's not like they're gonna leave it the way we want. Just brain free. Um, so I would actually like to go north. So if I head towards my base now, that might take us to that massive hole. Which was my objective. Oh, actually, I can run with the compass out now, so that's kind of handy. And I don't know if I need to light this thing or if it's. Oh, another hole. Oh wow. The plane. It has been. It's been some some time since I was here. Any food? Can we get? 
No, we can't get in. Yeah. There's a few, few luggage things around, but anyway. Well, actually, there's quite a few luggage things around. Okay. I didn't realise this. Huh. Okay. Well, it's, like I said, it's the last episode that we're going to be doing, so I'm not going to bother going through crates and the like when I have kind of set myself an, a, a goal. You know, I want to find out what that hole is. Uh, nope, we're alive. We didn't take any full damage, surprisingly. Wait, we're here again. Hmm. I will find a perch where I feel safe-ish. And we will... Ooh! Hello! Hello! You probably could parkour it down. But in all honesty, I mean, I reckon you're going to kill yourself before you you make it down in uh, and survive. Is there anything else around here? Like a village or... Ah, there's an, there's an entrance down there. That is clearly a hole. Let us go and see if our team's in there. Why not? I don't reckon you can do it. I reckon it's probably going to end in my death. Hmm. I don't know. Will we die? Hmm. Oh, probably. Oh, sh oh, fuck me, fuck me. No, 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 no. That's the end. Oh, well, fuck a doodle do. Ah, uh, no. No. Don't, don't, Mr. Naked Men. Please don't. Not in the hole again. How did you find my splattered remains? I mean. Uh, well, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me here in the Dumbass Class. I look forward to um, the game's full release. And when it does, I will probably bring it back for an episode or two. Just to see if there's anything um, anything different. Ow. However, I think for, um, for now, I will say goodbye to these dank and nasty caves. And bid you all adieu. So... Uh, Take care, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So, bye-bye for now.